a lot of monochrome in this video, I know. Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. This one is different to any other video that I've ever done before. Kind of, because today I'm going to be showing you my collection from Louis Vuitton. I've never really done like branded kind of collections. I've done my handbag and the shoe collection videos and that's all that I've done so far. I don't actually know in which order I'm gonna start, but I think I'm gonna start from the smaller things because that's something that I have not really shown in my videos. So I'm gonna start from the smaller things, I'm gonna do handbags, shoes and ready to wear right after. So to start off, I'm gonna talk to you about two of my definitely most used things in my whole collection. And the first one would be this makeup bag. Now, I always travel with two Louis Vuitton makeup bags every single time I travel. And the second one, I'm just traveling, so they're both full with things. Um, so this one is called Nice. I absolutely love them. This is my usually kind of like a beauty bag. The one where I keep my toothbrush. Um, what I wash my face with, like all the other kind of things like that. And this one is my makeup bag. I love them because they're so easy to wash and maintain and just to travel with if it right amount of stuff. So for me, they are just amazing. I'm not gonna be able to talk for a long time about each of these items because there is lots to show. But um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the questions, in the comments kind of section below and ask me if you would like to see kind of what I keep in my travel, makeup bags, etc. Um, let me know. Another thing that I have here is my Louis Vuitton eye trunk case. It actually comes with a leather kind of strap as well which you attach around here and you can wear it as a crossbody because it's like a little trunk. This one is for iPhone X. My other phone doesn't actually have a case like that because um, they don't make it I think yet for the X XS Max but as soon as I do I'll definitely be one of the first people to buy it because I love this case. I think it's so beautiful. It's quite pricey but worth it. It is also very heavy. I just love the, the way it looks and the way it protects my phone and I absolutely love the reverse monogram. Next up I have my wallet. When I don't wear my card holder, like when I don't carry my card holder, I carry my wallet. And this is a Josephine wallet in, um, well, in monogram with uh, rose ballerina or pink ballerina, I'm not sure what the name is. And actually, funnily enough, inside I also have a Louis Vuitton um, card for my SA. Um, I love this because it just fits right amount of stuff, as well as I love that it comes at the back with a separate kind of um, thing where you can put your like um, change or anything else. I have my old Josephine wallet as well which was with blue. Uh, in that one like I use this kind of like extra thing as my uh, spare memory card kind of like little pouch. Then I have another very very used thing and that would be my passport holder. I haven't had it monogrammed as you can see this is what it looks like inside. I just never had time to get it monogrammed or to wait for it because I just need my passport holder all the time. Next! Some of the oldest things in my collection, maybe the oldest thing in my collection uh, would be this Louis Vuitton belt. I rarely wear these two now. I have the monogram and the Demier Azur. Um, I don't really wear them anymore because I don't really wear belts like this, but I still love them and I love to have them in my collection because I remember when they were like such a hot, hot thing. That would be when I was in uni, basically. Recently you could have seen during sort of these Christmas months that I have received the Louis Vuitton candle. I actually received this as, the, as a present from the brand and I really love it. This one is, I haven't burned it yet because I just think it looks so beautiful, white and gold. This one is Léa du Jardin. My French is terrible. I love it so, so much. It sits on my work table together with this acrylic box. Wow, it's so heavy. Oh my god. With this box that I received last, I think, January, so like a year ago from Louis Vuitton. And it has this beautiful monogram inside that keeps international money, like change. And I keep this on my work desk. This is just very nice for keeping your jewelry. But for me, when I travel, I bring a lot of different currencies and I like keeping them in here. Okay, I have a notebook as well, which I would like to show you before I get into more details. It's quite dirty at the moment, but it's sort of like an epi, like an epi leather, that's what it looks like. And again, my favorite pink. 
I write all of my blog stuff in here, to-do lists, etc. I just love this notebook and I love that it's pink since this is one of my favorite colors. And when it comes to sunglasses, I'm loving lately um, Louis Vuitton sunglasses. The favorite ones that I have are these. They are for sure the coolest ones because I just think they're not too much, but they are very, very cool. You guys know I'm a huge fan of sunglasses. Like, that's one thing that I can constantly keep buying and buying and buying. I also have these. Ta-da! They're like pink. I got these around Coachella time. And then I have these. I got them around June 2018. They have like this LV kind of logo in the middle. Very cool. Jewelry. I don't know how am I going to show you this jewelry. <laughs> I don't have too much of Louis Vuitton jewelry. From the kind of more recent designs, I bought the LV earrings, which are just very tiny. I can't find the other one right now, but I love them. They're very cute. Then I have a lot of these Make a Promise bracelets. I love wearing them, especially in the summer months. Um, and what I love the most about them is that the proceeds, the like profits go to charity. Louis Vuitton partnered with UNICEF to kind of like um, help children in need and provide them with everything that they might need like in terms of like just basic stuff that every child should have. And if you're gonna buy one thing from Louis Vuitton, I think you should really consider buying one of these Make a Promise bracelets, like the Locket bracelets, because I think it's such a good cause and it's something that is really, really close to my heart. So when it comes to Louis Vuitton in general, I really respect them as a brand because I think the brand has kind of like their classic DNA together with very cool street vibe at the moment, especially um, with like, Gesquier and with Virgil like everyone contributing I think it's just incredible but then at the same time I believe that they are a charity and their kind of like mindset of the brand is just amazing and very inspiring. I have Gamble earrings and Gamble dies. These are very old. I actually got these as a present for my ex-boyfriend and I never keep really presents like that. I mean, I don't tend to. But this is just, it was such a surprise and so strange. It was like a little present for, I don't know, like a few months of our relationship. I don't really wear them that much anymore, but it's kind of like something that I keep in my jewelry drawer and I thought I'd show you, you know? Kind of awkward a little bit, but kind of not awkward at the same time. I don't know. Who cares? Let's show you the bags. You've already seen them in my handbag collection video. If you haven't watched that video, you should definitely see it because I think it's worth watching. But I haven't shown these two bags in it. So actually three bags I haven't shown in it. First one is Keepal 55. is a travel bag that I is currently packed because I'm traveling in like two hours, um, as always whenever I film. So this bag over here is very useful for me whenever I'm going on shoots, whenever I'm traveling with a car, on a train, Eurostar to Paris, this is just perfection. Fits usually all of my shoes. Sometimes I put bags in it, but more likely I put the bags in, this is actually empty, it's not packed yet, but it's traveling with me, in this baby over here. Now, I have about a million pictures with it on my Instagram, and I'll insert them now. This is the best money spent ever. This is the best piece of hand luggage one could have. It fits an immense amount of stuff. It's beautiful, it's easy to roll, and it's so durable considering what it's been through. It's given me some stressful moments whenever the mean check-in people at the airports are like, you need to check in your hand luggage. Then I'm like, my heart is racing and I'm like, I don't want to check this in. It actually happened during Vlogmas. Uh, when we were flying back from Finland to London, it was so they're not letting us take our hand luggage on board because I find it's a very busy flight. Very happy girl right now because I managed to take my carry-on and Dushan as well to the plane. I mean, this is my whole camera equipment and I, like everything equipment. I love this bag so much, and this is the Horizon. Um, Louis Vuitton makes several different hand luggages, but this is my favorite. A lot of monogram in this video, I know. Let's talk about the handbags more. I have 
the Palm Springs backpack that I really wish I wear actually more because I just love it and it's so 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 cool I need to um, wear it a little bit more it's something that I bought kind of randomly in Valencia um, two years ago yeah two years ago really love it in general Louis Vuitton is just the brand that I love so for me it was like yes please and I wear it a lot for travel I wear it as a crossbody bag and I really love it more 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 here we go Louis Vuitton Petit Mal I've had this bag over a year now I think a year and a half and I mainly wear it when I'm going out 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 like for nights out love this bag I mean the trunk the kind of craftsmanship of Louis Vuitton can really be seen in their trunks I would love to have one big trunk as a piece of furniture as well as their like flower trunks and like jewelry trunks I'm like obsessed with the craftsmanship of this brand I think they're amazing and I highly recommend spending a little bit more to buy a piece like this which is why I listened to my own advice for once and I decided to buy this bag as well. Now you haven't actually seen it previously in my videos because I only bought it after I filmed my handbag collection video and I've already worn it a few times. I love it, I think it's super cute. I love the kind of um, the shiny leather and like vernis as well as the monogram. So it's like monogram vernis in a red with gold hardware obsessed. It also comes with a shoulder strap and inside at the back as you can see there's a mirror and a back pocket and I'm obsessed. I love it. So freaking cute. But I've got three more bags from Louis Vuitton. Next one I'm gonna show you is a bag that I bought during Haute Couture week, January 2017. So it's turning, it's two years in my possession and I still love it and wear it very very much. And I'm talking about Louis Vuitton twist bag in larger of two sizes, uh, which is ballerina pink with grey leather inside. I remember still the day when I bought this bag and how happy and how excited I was for it. I searched for it, I found it, and then I was like, okay, this is it. There was one in Saint-Germain, I went all the way with my friend Noor, um, we bought the bag and I was like, this is the bag of my dreams. Noor already had the bag in black in just smaller size and she was like, buy the bigger because it will fit more and I'm so happy I did. We got the Louis Vuitton Alma in color Amaran. This is uh, the big Alma bag that I got for graduation from my sister. I wanted this bag so, so much and I was so happy when I got it. I wore, wore it only for special occasions and now I don't wear it that much because it's a top handle bag which is very big without a shoulder strap but um, for some reason it's like so classic that it just doesn't get to be worn as much. I spoke about it in my handbag collection video. I would never want to get rid of it, like never. But it's just not a piece that is like trend now, wear it, cool, street. Um, so I'm kind of keeping it maybe for maybe like next years to come, if you know what I mean. Like when I get a little bit older, I'm gonna wear it, love it as such a beautiful piece that reminds me of something amazing. First Louis Vuitton bag that I ever got would be probably the same as everybody's first Louis Vuitton and that is the Neverfull MM in Demier Azul. Here we go. I wear this bag still as a travel bag, as a beach bag. I know it looks like this and you might think like, oh my god, this bag is ruined, but no, not really, because um, the only thing that it is that leather is a little bit aged and it looks squashed, but this is canvas, so this is not leather anyway. It's very easy to fold, to pack if you want to travel with it. It's like just a perfect bag to carry around. It's quite dirty inside, I admit, it has a big back pocket, but that's because I carry it with me when I go to a beach something like that. I still remember when I bought this bag, it was around 500 euros, I think 495, much cheaper probably than it is today. And for me, it was like every single penny that I had as like uh, pocket money for three weeks, I basically spent on this and I just calculated how much I will need for food. So I left the food money on the side and I bought this one because that was everything I had 
to spend on a bag. <laughs> yeah, I was always a crazy person. From ready to wear, when it comes to Louis Vuitton, I only have two pieces. I say only because I am looking to expand. I think their ready to wear collection is incredible. Absolutely wonderful. It's getting better and better. And the first piece from their ready to wear that I ever bought, Palm Springs Bomber Jacket. I think it's called Palm Springs. Um, now, I love this jacket so much. And I think it's such a cool piece. Every time I wear it, I get a lot of compliments. And it's, it's kind of like something that you can wear in summer, autumn, spring. I wear it often at Coachella. I love this piece. I think it's very cool, trendy, but kind of will last me for a long time. More recent addition to the ready to wear. This cape is a monogram cape that you can actually wear either this side or this side. Now, I recently wore it uh, to Soho Farmhouse and I was like, oh, I don't want to get it dirty, I just want to take a few pictures, which I did. But then I went to play with the goats and the goat jumped on my back with its muddy feet. Yeah, I was like, oh my God. What I did though, because I had all of this like mud stains on my back, I didn't touch them. I just left it as it was. I then folded it inside, like when I put it in my suitcase so it doesn't get everything else dirty. I let it dry and then when it dried, we cleaned it so easy. Like literally there is nothing on its back anymore. It's in size 36. I love it. I think it's a beautiful piece, beautiful, beautiful piece that I will wear forever. When I was a child, I always used to have capes like this and I would wear them very often and they always made me feel very like dressy and special and kind of princessy. I think the most recent shoes I got are these slides that I bought in July in Mykonos. They're in beige color with a padlock. I think they're just amazing, very comfortable. Pretty inexpensive when it comes to like heritage and the quality. Um, so I think very, very worth the money and I love them and I wear them a lot in the summer. There's gonna be a lot of monogram in here. Boots that I uh, kindly got from Louis Vuitton last Christmas are these Fireball. They're a bit dusty, I haven't worn them in a little bit. Love them, maybe I should bring them to my couture week because I just love Fireball. These are the runway boots, very cool. Christina also has a pair. Her pair is uh, black with gold instead of the monogram and they're just so fabulous. More kind of commercial type would be the Star Trail. Now, these are quite common. They have a zip so you don't have to actually tie the laces in the front and are, um, again, in monogram, I mean, so original. Mine are in size 40, so are the slides, and so are the fireball boots. In, like, along the similar lines, I have these Louis Vuitton sneakers. What size are these? Ha, 39. I love these sneakers so much. They're probably, when it comes to kind of like commercial, uh, simple travel trainers, like going to town, getting errands done, my favorite sneakers I own. I love wearing these in summer with like shorts or with tops and like dresses and things like that. Skirts, so easy, so cute, just white, simple, and I love them. My favorite shoes in my Louis Vuitton collection are... Ta-da! Louis Vuitton Arch Light Sneakers. Mine are in gray and white, kind of like silver color, so spaceship-like. These are definitely coming to Outsour, okay? Definitely coming to Fashion Month with me. I'm obsessed with them so much that I would get them in other colors as well. I kindly received these from Louis Vuitton as a gift. I am obsessed, obsessed. Wear them so much, they're so comfortable and they just go with everything. You shouldn't really wear them as you would wear your normal sneakers, so don't wear them with like jeans and hoodies, that's not the point. The point is to wear them instead of your heels, so wear them with dresses, with skirts, with like flowy long dresses and things like that, then they really look amazing. That's just my opinion. Or if you wear them with jeans, make sure your ankles are showing. Please do that. That's my styling tip number one. Last item in my Louis Vuitton collection is a pair of boots. Now these boots I wear so much, 39 and a half. Interesting. Size 39 and a half as well. So these two are in 39 and a half. The flat white train is 39. Everything else is 40. These I just love. Again, wearing with dresses, with um, flowy long dresses. I will insert some pictures on how I wear them the most. These are the twist boots. 
love them so much. I bought them in Paris on one of my crazy Louis Vuitton hauls. When I, when I go to Louis Vuitton, it's just so easy for me to go crazy. Like, I love so much from the brand that it's really hard to kind of stay normal whenever I enter the store. Especially the ones in Paris and the ones in London. The Bond Street Boutique, like, I can't help it. Now they have one on Sloan Street and the Harrods one. And Selfridges. I have quite a few things on my wish list. Let's see how I do in Paris. I hope you enjoyed this video. I, by the way, have never used any of their fragrances, so if any of you have, please let me know what you think. I'm actually thinking of buying a fragrance from Louis Vuitton, also thinking of buying another ready-to-wear piece because they're just so beautiful. Um, I was also thinking of buying Petit Bois, but I feel like a lot of people now that I know have it, so I was like, no, I'm thinking of buying a can reverse monogram bag. What do you guys think? The waiting list though is so long and it's so hard to get hold of it that I'm not so sure. We'll see. So that is it with my Louis Vuitton collection. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching it and let me know what other brands would you like me to show you my collections of. I was thinking kind of like Balenciaga, Chanel, Dior, you know the brands that I actually have a lot of, maybe Gucci. Let me know what you'd like to see and I'll make sure to film it for you. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!